Yeah. So how how um how safe smart is this? This is a, a company called uh, Faber Liquors, who ordinarily does bottle actual uh, spirits that you can drink. And um, what they did is they decided that since there was this global pandemic, they were going to stop for a while doing their normal liquors that you can drink. And they started doing, you guessed it, hand sanitizer. Uh, but they didn't put it in the stereotypical bottle that you put it in where you dispense it with a little squirt or you open it with a little squeeze and put some kind of a safety valve on the top of it so kids can't access it. No, no. They just simply put the hand sanitizer into the existing bottles that they use for their liquor so that it looks just like this. And interestingly, when you open it, no child resistant cap, just a wide open hole for you to chug or pour on the rocks. What's it smell like? Hand sanitizer? Nope. Kind of smells like tequila. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbon. I am the hand sanitizer police control. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, more juicy Twitter. content. Thanks on Patreon. Oh, to the guy, ring the bell, the notification squad. Bang! <laughs> follow us on our personal YouTube channels, links in the description below. Today, uh, we are we are not together because we weren't planning on filming today. Uh, and so, uh, it's the, this new trailer, that's the official trailer for the Malayalam, uh, Drishyam 2, uh, the official trailer for this with, uh, Mohanal, which we, obviously we haven't seen the first one yet, um, but we saw, we've seen the Hindi Drishyam, um, because we mistakenly did that very early on, uh, and yeah, it, we know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of watching the original, but we were we were just little babies. Now we're just a little bit older of a baby. Yeah. So we're a tad bit. We're we're the, we have the intelligence of a toddler. So we're very smart. Uh, <laughs> That's a great shirt. I have the intelligence of a toddler. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, Drishyam to Malayalam with Mohanal and Jithu Joseph. Uh, I I recognize that name. Somewhere. Yep, me too. I don't know from where. Yeah, Jitu Joseph. Uh, anyways, ready? I'm trying to remember where I've seen that from. Jitu Joseph. We've seen that name before. I'll look it up. Three. Anyway, yep. two, one. Yep. Yep. So is it literally just a continuation of like 
because obviously, spoiler, if you, I mean, I don't think you should be watching the trailer for Drishim 2 if you haven't seen at least one of the Drishims. Drishim. And yeah, if you have, if you, if you haven't seen Drishim, you should probably go away at this point because I'm sure we're going to talk about Drishim. Yeah, what happened yeah. at the end, which yeah. is, I believe, where they're carrying off here. It sure, uh, sure, sure seems that way, yeah. Because they built the police station right on top of where he buried him, right? Correct, correct. And what we saw, assuming they were true to, uh, it really makes me, you know, before watching this thing, makes me want to watch the original. Oh, yeah. Uh, if, if, and if, see if there's a differentiation, but I don't think they would change that. No, if and when we watch this one, obviously we would watch the first original Drishim first, of course. Just yeah, to make yeah. sure, even though I think it's the same story. It's me obviously, too. I think you should, but that's, that's going to be hard to reinvestigate if he's under a station. I mean, yeah. And like, are, is it just a reinvestigation or is it like, a, it, obviously more hijinks has to happen than just, I right, we're reopening this case. Yeah. My, um, yeah, clearly there's got to be more than that. And they're just trusting. I mean, they're not sharing more than they are. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those films I, that I was like, I never thought it would get a sequel, though. It's Me it, too. I thought it was a, uh, it, once again, if the original has the same ending as the Hindi version that we saw, it just, it was a good ending. I mean, it, it's mm -hmm. it's like, it's one of those ones that I'm like, I, I don't think that needs a sequel, really. Right. Uh, Me too. <laughs> I mean, it could. I mean, like, I'm not saying like a writer couldn't come up with a great story that that's gonna right. knock my socks off, and I'd be like, that is a fantastic continuation of this story. Um, but right. it's just sometimes for films, you're like, yeah, that was a good one off. I mm -hmm. obviously not every film needs a sequel. <laughs> um, like, what's a what's a good film that doesn't need a sequel? Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But, it, I mean, it, it didn't look bad. I'm not saying it looked bad at all. It's just, I, um, I think I'm I'm interested. It got me interested. I'm like, okay, well, so what are they going to be investigating? Like, what other things are they going to bring up that they didn't already try to do? And the evidence is pretty well hidden now. Uh, it just seems like it just seems from the trailer that what the the concept is that there is a there are enough people who think he's guilty that they just aren't gonna let it go, and I'm, and that he'll never be able to escape this. Yeah, and is there no statute of limitations on it's a good crime, question. crimes in it? Because like everybody knows. O.J. Simpson did it. You, but we you can't, read my mind. But we can't retry him for that crime. You straight <laughs> up read my mind. No matter how badly he had a criminal trial and he had a civil trial, you cannot retry a person or use that against them once you've had a trial. There's nothing you can do. You cannot get a new case against that person if they've already been tried for it. Um, but, but that may not be the case in India. Sorry, I'm trying to see where we know Jithu Joseph from. He sounds very familiar. Very familiar. I feel like we've seen something of his before. The body? No. 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 It looks like he was the writer of the Hindi version, Drishyam. I'm guessing they because they just took this story, maybe? Hmm. Uh, well, that's that's encouraging. It must mean, mean it's pretty close proximity wise. I would assume. So it looks but like I he felt was, like there's something else we've seen him involved in. So it looks like the original Drishium, I believe the Malayalam one. Uh, oh no! Apparently, there's what been about, have, have have we seen some trailers of him that have said it's a, a Jithu Joseph film, and we've just seen his name enough in trailers? No, I'm looking. I'm looking at his IMDb. Unless IMDb is is wrong, and I don't. I don't see anything that I know. Mm. Um, what's so they mm. obviously this version is the 2013 Drishium, which he directed and wrote, but there's a 2014 Drishium, and that's not the the one that we saw because that one was in 2015. Mm. So it was remade in another language. It looks like as well. 
Um, yeah, where do we know Jitu Joseph from? Maybe it's just a we. Have, there's another person that has a similar name that we know, um, but I I can't tell where we know him from. But it looked interesting. The trailer did. Um, I would absolutely be interested in seeing it if it if it lives up to uh, the first one. Um, so you guys can let us know once this comes out what you think and Mohano, uh, what should be his next film outside of Drishyam itself? Because obviously he's a legendary actor that we need to get into more in Malayalam. Um, what should be his next film that we watch? Let us know down below. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!